I am Mawar Jamna Rani, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science. Now I explain about dead logs in OAS. First, I, we explain about resources. So resources nothing but uh, printers, tab drives, tables, which is used for the process. Process needs access to resource in reasonable order. Suppose a process holds uh, resource A and request resource B. At that time, another process holds B and request A. So both are blocked and remain so. Introduction to deadlocks. The deadlocks nothing but a set of process is deadlocked if each process is the set is waiting for an event that only another process in the set can cause. Usually, the event is re release of a currently held resource. None of the process can run a release resources via vacant. Deadlock modeling. So, here uh, picture explain the model of deadlocks. Uh, first one, resource R assigned to process A. Second one, process B is uh, requesting or waiting for the resource S. Third one, process C and R in a deadlock over resources T and U. Strategies for dealing with deadlocks. Just ignore the problems together. First one. Second, deduction and recovery. Third one, dynamic avoidance. Fourth one, preventions. Recovery from deadlock. Recovery through killing process. It's a crudest but simplest way to break a deadlock. Kill one of the process in the deadlock cycle. The other process gets its resources. Choose process that can rerun from the beginning. Deadlock prevents and attacking the mutual exclusion conditions. Some devices, that is printer, can be spooled. Only the printer domain uses printer resources. Thus, deadlock for printer eliminated. Not all devices can be spooled. Principle, avoid assigning resources when not absolutely necessary as few process as possible actually climb the resources. Starvation, algorithm to allocate a resource may, may be to give to shortest job first. Works great for multiple short jobs in a system. May cause long job to be postponed indefinitely even though not blocked. Solution, first come, first save policy. Thank you.